And we're back. For those of you just joining us, welcome to the Power Is Now Real Estate Roundtable. You know, I love doing the Real Estate Roundtable, and I've been blessed to have interviewed some extraordinary people over the years, CEOs of you name it, folks. They have been on our show, and it's a it's an honor for me to engage CEOs like Tammy Bonnell of Exit Realty to talk about the business of real estate. To watch other shows, please go to thepowerisnow.com and there you'll find on the menu bar, the Real Estate Roundtable. And you'll be surprised who's been there. You can also listen to us on anywhere you find your podcast. If you listen to Apple, Google, iHeartRadio, doesn't matter where you, what platform, we are there. You can also watch our TV programs on Apple TV, Roku, Fire TV, any smart TV, and even our mobile app, Power Is Now TV, that you can download on your Android or Apple device. We are leading the conversation about real estate, and we have a singular focus on housing and developing wealth in real estate on the Power Is Now media. And I appreciate Tammy and others like her who are willing to take the time to come on our show and to share their thoughts and uh, and then their their perspective about what's going on in the market. Tammy, again, I really appreciate your time. You are very busy, and it, it is an honor for me to have you on the show today. And I appreciate everything you shared so far, and can't wait to get to the final segment of this interview. Well, thank you. I'm really I, I, I'm honored to be here, and it's been a pleasure. It's been a great conversation. So, Tammy, uh, agents are planning right now, right? Many have mm -hmm. completed their plans, but most agents I know are still working on their business plans uh, and trying to figure out what do I do. You know, just the other day they heard the Fed increasing rates five percent. What is that going to do to the market? You know, they got listings. They can't move because the sellers get that sticky, a sticky price syndrome. They don't want to, they haven't, they haven't uh, accepted the new reality. And so uh, many agents are struggling as to a clear path to success in 2023. Having been in the business all these years and managing and overseeing thousands of agents across the country. I know you have some ideas. So what would be your top five priorities that every agent should focus on as we enter into 2023? Here we go. Number one, mindset. Mindset is four times as important as even the activities you're going to do. And it is so easy to get into the wrong headspace. So mindset's incredibly important. However you do that, starting your day, even if you just take two minutes and close your eyes and visualize how you want the day to go, how you want people to feel, what you want the results to be, but have that be the last thing you do before you walk out the door so your head is in the right space. Uh, people get distracted and they watch the news and they watch all, uh, good news doesn't sell. So take control on your own by putting your head in the right space. That's number one. Number two, I'm a huge fan of having a business plan, but um, the road to hell was paved with good intentions. And I think it's more important for you to have an action plan. I've had the privilege in my life of breaking seven world records in sales. And I'll tell you, a couple of the things I'm going to mention are things that I've done my entire career. Have an action plan. Once a month, book off four hours to work on your life, not in it. Work on your business, not in it. Literally look ahead so that here we are, and this is perfect timing, right? Halfway through the month, look ahead until the end of the following month. And then the following month, book off four hours again and put together an action plan. Pay attention to past, present, and future clients. Pay attention to where the market's at. What should I be learning? Who should I be communicating with? The more you do it, the more fine-tuned you're going to get, and you're really going to be amazed at what you can accomplish. If you do it three months in a row, you won't be able to stop yourself from doing it. It's just getting it into a habit. So that's next on the list. Accurate market knowledge is number three. Have a 30,000 foot view so you can see trends, a 2,000 foot view, which is your individual state, because there might be trends that are happening that just aren't in your town or city yet, but they can be. Have a street level perspective, what's going on in the marketplace that you serve, but um Pay attention to all of that so you can see where windows of opportunity are before anybody else. Number four, 
Know yourself. This is so important. If you know what your strengths are, you want to work more on your strengths. So if I'm really good at something and I'm an eight or a nine, I can get to a 10. I can absolutely get to a 10. But if I'm a three or a four, I don't need to work on that thing that I'm a three or a four because I'm never going to get past a four or a five. Work on where you are strong. And I'll give you a great example. I have a woman that lives in the New England marketplace and she telling me her business plan. She said, I'm going to get on the phone more. Uh, next year. She's terrible on the phone. She's, she, she stammers. She gets nervous. She uh, doesn't convey her message. She doesn't sound competent or confident, but in networking circumstances, she knocks it out of the park. She can connect with every single person. She's a great connector. She's a great communicator, and it really does make a difference. So focus on your strengths. Number five, personalize. Don't just know the marketplace and know about the house and go in to give somebody a CMA. Do your homework on the person that you're going to represent. Crystal knows is a great way to learn about personality profiles so you can relate with people well. But if you can learn a few things to build a better connection and understand that person a little more before you get through the door, you're much more likely to get that person as a client. Wow. I love that. Five strategies that every real estate agent should be focusing on. And I, we don't have time to get a kind of rehash each one of those. I would love to do that with you. But I can tell you what resonates with me is number four, and that is know yourself and to focus in on your strengths and not your weaknesses. One of my favorite books is by Jim Collins from Good to Great. I know you read that already. Absolutely. And uh, he talks about focusing on your strength and not your weaknesses, because you're right. If you're a seven or eight, you can definitely get to a 10. Uh, right. But if you're a one to two, you need to hire somebody. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. right. And then, you know, and that is the thing that's, a, you know, obviously it's we don't need to go into number six, but asking yourself that question, who has the credentials if I don't? It's OK to not it's OK to bring in other experts. Right. Oh, you're absolutely right. Tammy, what are you reading right now and why? I'm actually reading two books, but I read about 300 books a year. So I usually have a couple going at the same time. Um, wait a minute, wait a minute. Stop the presses here. Did you say that you're reading 300 books a year? I do. Yeah. <laughs> I have a, I have a, I'm an information junkie, <laughs> but I'm also on a lot of planes. So what better way to spend the time than to feed your brain or feed your heart or whatever it is that you're doing at the time, right? Um, and I think that that's uh, really important. There's a great book. It's called Big Potential. It's by Sean Aker. He did um, a lot of studies on happiness. I actually spoke at Harvard on studies on happiness and his ideas of big potential and pulling people together. I absolutely love it. And then there's a great book um, by Steve Sims um, called Go for Stupid. And it's really about don't be embarrassed about what it is that you're going after. Just just absolutely go for it. Challenge yourself. Push yourself out of your comfort zone. I am getting those books today. Are they on <laughs> Audible? Uh, I thought absolutely. I was doing well. Okay, great. <laughs> I, I don't read. I listen to books. I'm a fan of Audible, and I probably listen to about 10 books a month. Awesome. Uh, that's, but uh 300 books. Wow. That is impressive. And um, uh, I tell you, you are, you are definitely challenging me and hopefully everyone who is watching or listening to this interview uh, to be, you know, to be better and to do more in 2023. Final question. Where do you see yourself uh, five years from now uh, as, you know, a leader at Exit Realty, a leader in our industry? Where do you see yourself? Well, on a personal level, uh, by the end of 2025, my goal is to be a master in uh, Taekwondo. So I'm in training for that. And I really strongly believe in the mind-body connection. Uh, so that's definitely a goal. Having the regions for exit finish finalizing the last of the regions being sold out by December of 2025. So that's obviously ahead of the ahead of the five year curve. But um, I, I expect us to be in the top three in every category in 
in the industry as far as a, a franchise goes. You know, when the market shifts, people look for solutions and they look for um, who's really going to care enough about wanting me to be better and wanting me to get to the next level. So we're really making some great strides in those directions and to continue absolutely making sure that this company is focused on human potential first. Tammy, any final uh, comments for our audience? Our audience consists of consumers, ordinary people looking to buy or sell, as well as real estate professionals and bankers and industry leaders like yourself. Uh, any final thoughts or words you might want to leave with as we conclude this incredible interview? <laughs> well, you know, I think that uh, every time there's a market shift, we see an awful lot of fear. And it's so important for everybody to know that fear is a feeling, not a fact. <laughs> it's a feeling. And the more information I have, the more in control I'm going to be. So stay a student, stay a student of the industry, stay a student of everything that's surrounding it. The more confidence you have, the more confidence you're going to be able to convey to everybody that you work with. Tammy Bonell, CEO of Exit Realty. Thank you for joining us today on the Real Estate Round Table. Folks, please download our TV app, Power Is Now TV, on your mobile app. Share this interview with others in your family, if you're in real estate, to your peers. Uh, I don't know about you, but I've been inspired today and I really appreciate uh, Tammy's time. Remember, we are at our best and we maximize our success when we act now. The power is now. Thank you for watching. The Power Is Now Media is worldwide with growing audience of future home buyers, investors, builders, developers, real estate agents, and brokers. The Power Is Now Media is well positioned to increase awareness and produce results for our growing roster of advertising partners. An advertisement on any of our platforms is the right step toward reaching and communicating key brand messages to a targeted network of individuals, families, and communities interested in housing. Our content areas include feature stories and profiles on successful real estate agents, business owners, government, and community leaders. The Power Is Now magazines are the leading resource for real estate agents, mortgage bankers, entrepreneurs, and small home ownership businesses, providing leaders with business strategy information, resources, and tools through PIN, real estate, and programming guide magazines. Stay up to the minute with real estate and mortgage news and information from industry experts. VIP agents are able to feature listings each week. The Power Is Now TV radio podcast features weekly shows that include Homebuyers Town Hall, Real Estate Roundtable, VIP Agent Spotlight, and so much more. Each week, VIP agents have opportunities to be featured guests on the shows. VIP agents can discuss and showcase houses, neighborhoods, and provide brief introduction. The interviews are unlimited 10 to 15 minutes on each current listing. This product alone separates you from your competition. The Power Is Now delivers to you market update interview to promote listing weekly, promotional biographical video, co-host a bi-monthly homebuyers town hall show, featured subject matter expert on real estate roundtable show, the Power Is Now Program Guide e-magazine. The Power Is Now National e-magazine. Article writing and blogging. Social media content customization. Inclusion and press releases. Graphic design services. Business and performance coaching. Technology support. Referrals. Lead generation opportunities and management support.